What's going on guys? Merrick here, back with another random Halo video. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I think is probably one of the most controversial things about Halo Infinite. We're going to be taking a look at the stupidest cosmetic customizations. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and get this one out of the way. The prosthetics, in my opinion, is the stupidest fucking thing. That's right, stupider than the cat ears. I'm sure you're going, oh, but Merrick... What about the people that have, you know, prosthetics in real life? It helps them feel included. Okay, that's a fair point. What's not a fair point is why in the hell a fully armored soldier, even if they had a whole prosthetic arm, why the fuck is there no armor on the arm? What stops them from putting armor on this flimsy-looking fucking piece of plastic-looking prosthetic? Like, it doesn't even look like it's super durable. Even the one that we see Cat have in fucking Halo Reach has the little spinning gear in the, the middle of the elbow piece. What you can even... You can see through. You can see through the fucking holes in that fucking gear. I mean, the prosthetic, it's like, cool, You if you had a prosthetic, it should be... Unknown. I mean, you're not proud of it unless you're like, yeah, I took this grenade for my teammate or whatever, which is cool and all. But you're not going to go out and then, in a suit of fucking fully decked out, top of the line armor, just have your naked ass fucking fake arm out there. Like, it's stupid. Even the shoulder. Look, I still have a shoulder pad on top of the fucking shoulder. So why the fuck is the rest of the arm not armored? Like, it's so, it just breaks, it breaks any kind of immersion because it just, it makes no fucking sense. Same with, like, the, even the leg. Like, why? Why would you have this, this part of the leg that's gonna get, it's gonna get rusted and it's just, like, look, there's spaces in it. You're gonna get shit in your leg. You're gonna get pebbles in there. They're gonna fucking bounce around every time you step. It's gonna get really annoying hearing a rock bounce around in metal every time you fucking take a step. But again, why is it not armored? That's just, it's stupid and it makes no fucking sense. I've had this issue since Halo Reach before there was the existence of stupid-ass cat ears. Now that we've mentioned the subject, let's of course address the cat ears. First of all, fucking stupid. It, it's like the most... I don't even know... I, I don't even... I know what I'm thinking and I don't even know what word to use for it. It looks fucking dumb. It's just another part of your fucking head that sticks up farther. It's what? It's got like subwoofers in it. It's little speakers. So you can play, like, your shitty garbage-ass music while you're in the middle of getting your ass kicked. Like, it's so just dumb. And I know there's so many people that bought it, and I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but it's fucking stupid. Oh, it's called Perfect Audio, so maybe they are actually fucking little speakers. But again, it's a helmet. Your speakers are built into the fucking inside of the helmet. Like, come on, this is absolutely just dumb dick stupid. A flower. A fucking flower that looks like it's fucking... May as well just be stuck on there with like a little fucking adhesive pad. What, what, what does this do? What does this do for anything? This It's not even like, oh man, I got this cool thing to show off. This is the opposite of cool. Like, if they had introduced either the flowers or the cat ears in like Halo 3 or even Halo Reach... The community would have completely shit on Bungie. Like, that's fucking stupid, and it breaks immersion and all that. Which, we won't even get into the hypocriticalness of 343 and them not wanting to break immersion. Like, they having playable elites and stuff. But yeah, oh yeah, all the, all the Spartans have cat ears and flowers attached to their lapels and shit. Like, fucking whatever. This one too, the calling card. It's like, I mean, I've played card games... All my life, including regular playing cards. I've played poker, I've Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. I've done it all. This is dumb, too. Like, it's literally freaking attached with, like, a fucking plastic clip. This card is going away as, as soon as there's a slight breeze. And it's what? Oh, it's Ace of Spades. You're the Ace of wasting $5. Like, at least if it's a coating or something. Okay, cool. You make yourself look cool. It's It's noticeable. This is like, you can't even see it from this angle. You're like, what the fuck is that? And you sure as hell aren't going to notice it when you're fighting somebody. This is another one that really grinds my gears. These little, like, face hugger masks. Like, why in the hell? You're already wearing a helmet. 
So why are you putting a faceplate on top of your already faceplate? That's like, uh, there's no reason to do that. There are more reasons to wear a sock on top of another sock to keep your feet warm than there is to put a fucking plate of armor on top of your plate of armor. And on top of that, it's like it's on top of your, your face. Not to mention Halo Infinite's Garbo thing where they don't even add, like it doesn't even blend in with your with your, your color, with your coating. It's this, like, stupid, looks like the fucking sidewalk you fucking walked down when you were going to fucking recess in elementary school ass color. Like, it's just so stupid and it doesn't even mesh well. What is the point in this? It's just dumb. I don't ever see anybody with this dumb shit on their armor. Again, this one. Flower on the lapel. For those who rose above. I'm sorry, but if you spend money to buy a stupid orange flower that sticks to your armor. I'm not even sure that's orange. It's yellow. It's like mustard. It's like the top of a fucking cupcake. You're, you're just, you're dumb. There's a reason they do this stuff, and it's because you're dumb enough to buy it. This one, I, I want to make mention of because, again, it's dumb. Oh, it, it, candy pane. I get it. It's a sharpened candy cane. But I mean, as soon as you like, as soon as you take any shots whatsoever, even if the bullet hits you in like the thigh, I'm pretty sure the reverberations through the armor are going to fucking make a candy cane shatter regardless. But I mean, it's seasonal. It's whatever. I think this, I don't know if this was something you had to buy or if this was something that was released as part of an event because I, some of the events I just don't play in, but I, I felt like it was worth mentioning. It's not the worst. <sighs> the little teddy bear thing. All right, so I know some people are going to be upset by it because I know it has some meaning in the lore, so to speak. But again, at the same time, this is something you have to buy in the store. For this little bear thing, that first of all, it's not even going to attach. Like it's the, You're not keeping that attached to your armor, ever, in any way. If anything, this should have been just a charm that you just attached to all your guns. At least then somebody might pick up the gun and be like, oh, hey, that's cool. They're not going to see it on your fucking corpse. Unless they spend that much time teabagging your corpse, they're never going to see that little bear. Alright, let's move on to everybody's favorite stupid shit. These things. Epic armor effects. Or legendary. Or, wow. First of all, this... This is just fucking people that, like, literally probably walked straight out of their fucking two-year college degree in some kind of fucking marketing and was like, Yo, uh... What up, pops, guys, older folks? What the new generation of players want is a fucking glowing neon mohawk on their fucking helmet because that's cool. It's not. Nobody thinks this is cool, and the people that wear it literally just don't have bills to pay. I'm fucking sorry. This thing, a neon screen? Why do you need a screen in front of your fucking visor? Your visor is a screen. That's the whole point. When you play Halo, you are looking through the visor. You are looking... The visor is, a, is the screen! Why do you have a screen on top of your screen? Like, what, what is the point in this? It doesn't even look cool. It looks like it's way too big to fit the fucking helmet, and they're just like, well, damn, it ain't gonna fit, man. Your head's too fucking small. This one's just dumb. Little, like, glowy flowers just popping up on your goddamn shoulders while you're playing? What? Wh why? Why? What the hell do you just want to... Hey, I'm, su I'm supporting Earth Day every day, guys. That's great. If you're going to support Earth Day every day, go plant an actual fucking tree or something instead of this shit. What the fuck is this even supposed to do? There's nothing. Packmaster's glare. First of all, let's address how stupid this is for a number of reasons. Again, you have a visor that displays all your tactical data on it. Everything you need to know. So why do you have this little fucking glowy... What, does it help you zoom in? Does it help you fucking aim better? No, of course not, because most Spartans, especially in the game that it's made, are all right-handed, which means they're aiming through the scope with their right eye. It's not even on the right side! Like, who the fuck designs this shit? How dumb do you have to be to trigger me like this? That I'm pointing out that literally it's on the side you're not even fucking looking to, through a scope for. Why? What's the fucking point? Seriously. This. Okay, cool. You want to be a prophet now? Look at me, ho! Oh, that's the sound you're going to be making as the bullet pierces your fucking head. All this is doing is drawing attention to you. If there's a place you could crouch and hide behind, you can't do it with this thing because somebody's going to see a floating fucking halo ring and they're like, what's that over there? Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a dude back there. Dead. But, like, why? What is the point? 
This, this serves nothing and no Spartan would have this. The only thing this does is it puts a halo over your head to mark you because you're going to be dead, hence having a halo. That's it. Again, I don't know. Horns made of ice. You look like a fucking, like, like you're celebrating Christmas. You're a reindeer. I don't, I, why? Again, what is the point in this? You're not skewering anybody with this because, again, they're wearing metal armor. What are you going to do? Fucking use Skull Bash? Guess what, dumbass? That move takes two turns to fucking use. Now this. Now, I said this already in a, in a Battle Buddies. This is for when you want to get your furry on, but you can't get your furry on enough. Fucking holographic fucking rabbit ears. And what's even stupider is, since this is an armor effect, you can wear this with the cat ears to just prove how much you're a fuck. Like, seriously, this is so goddamn stupid. Why? Oh, little bunny foo foo coming to get shot. Wh wh who? Who would fucking wear this? What is, again, what is the point? We're trying to not break immersion and we're not going to have playable elites and shit. But we can have playable Easter bunnies. Again, we're right back to that same level of why is there a screen in front of my screen? And on top of that, why is there like a fucking screensaver fucking animation on it? The thing bouncing left and right. If you saw that shit... If that was in front of your fucking visor while you're trying to aim at shit and shoot shit, you're not hitting nothing because you're distracted by this little fucking cat laser that's in front of your fucking face. These things are dumb. Synthetic Dawn. It ain't synthetic nothing. It's gonna get you legitimately killed. Not synthetically killed. You will legitimately get fucking murdered because you can't fucking pay attention. Bootstrap strap code for peripheral visual effects. The visual effect of what? Getting your head blown off? Guess what? That doesn't do anything for you visually because your head is now pulp. It does something for the enemy who visually watched your head eviscerate into a cloud of red fucking mist. We're just going to rope these two in as just one thing because it's basically the same thing. It's equally stupid. Th this, these are military vehicles. These are the vehicles being used to fight against an alien army that is trying to wipe out our existence from the universe. So who the hell decided we're gonna let goddamn Forrest Gump put fucking deer or horns and shit on it? What the, what redneck motherfucker decided this was the best idea we could come up with? These are so stupid, I forgot they existed. For when you wanna put fucking deer antlers on your fucking helmet. Cause nothing says I'm a redneck and I like my shooting gun better than having deer horns already on my hand. What the fuck good is this doing? Heraldry and symbolism associated with the elusive mountain stag is popular amongst western clans. Not western clans, fucking southern clans. Like you live in the south and you fucking living in the Bible Belt and the two things you care about most is your Bible and your gun. And whatever corpse you done shot that's in the back of your truck. What the fuck? Who does this? Again, stupid. While we're back in the cores, we won't even mention these because, like, these don't even look like they belong in Halo. Rakshasha. Like, that just sounds like I just threw up in my whole mouth. This one, Eagle Strike, this, again, looks like this belongs in, like, a Call of Duty or a Battlefield game. What part of this screams Halo to you? Like, none of it. I, none of it to the point I'm even going to go through it because I don't even give a shit. I literally only changed the color coding just so it would somewhat match the codings that I have equipped, which then this guy fucks up anyways. And let's just talk about this guy for a minute. Chimera. And I've got him looking as ridiculous as possible because, well, I mean, you, they gave me the ability to make him look stupid, so I thought, why the fuck not? The shiny orange is nice, but, you know, the rest of this is just fucking dumb. The only thing I could glean from this is it kind of has a didact feel to it, kind of like it's Promethean, but not a fucking thing says anything about Promethean. Literally nothing. Executors not selected for essence compilation at the end of their useful life are expended in a final burst of frenetic violence. What the fuck are you even talking about? That's not even fucking like, that's just word vomit. To sound cool, which this armor does the opposite of being cool. We have Halo Reach armor that's still not in the fucking game. We're still missing like six helmets, 
like one thing is shoulders i don't even remember but th we're still missing shit we're still missing all the halo 3 armor none of that's been included because 343 is afraid to even touch anything the legacy of bungie's halo because it was actually good fucking halo hence why we have shit like this shit and deer antlers and rabbit ears and cat ears and come on like there's if if you're wearing it if you're wearing it ironically, you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress up. I'm gonna put the rabbit ears on on top of the cat ears. I'm gonna make my Spartan pink, and I'm gonna embarrass you by beating your ass as this weird furry pink thing. Okay, I'll give you that because even in Halo Three, I used to do that with the Hello Kitty emblem. I put the little kitty emblem, the little cowboy hat, and I, and you know, I couldn't change my armor to pink because it was red versus blue as it should be. But then it's like, oh, you got your ass kicked by a dude, little little Hello Kitty with a cowboy hat emblem. At, at least there, it's like, tee -hee, it's kind of, it's funny. None of any of this is funny. None of it. Am I laughing? Are you laughing? This one? Really? I mean, I get it. You only see it at the end screen, and it's only if the person wearing it's winning, but... Dumb actually dumb this you know what this reminds me of this this one's not even that bad but i can't take it seriously because it just reminds me of that like little the meme with the little baby that's got his fist pumped up like yeah yeah this is what this is this is a fucking baby in a halo game that's all this is to me personally i don't like this one either i think this is kind of dumb but i mean it's oddball he's got the skull it's not the worst but it's still kind of like this what is this He's got a big-ass stick that is not part of the game at all, ever. This is just a stick. It's a thing. It's just a stick. Why? Why is it here? What is it for? I don't even have any words for this. It just looks like a dumbass Fortnite thing. That's literally how stupid. He's like, look over there! And then he gets his head blown off because nobody fucking listened and fell for the fucking bullshit. I, I don't even know what we're doing here. This looks like somebody's, like, posing for an underwear model. Like, what the, what the actual fuck is this even supposed to be? I just, like, I don't even. Where does this belong in a Halo? We can't play as elites. We can't have Halo 3 armor. We can have this. What, 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 what? Even this one. You. You. <laughs> you. This is like you're pointing at a dude and you're trying to, be, but you can't remember his name. You're just like, ha <laughs> yeah, it's you, man. Again, a pose with the stick. What is this stick? This isn't the flagpole, is it? I'm pretty sure this is not the fucking flagpole. So what is this stick? If it's the flagpole, it needs to have the fucking flag on it. Which, if we got a legit fucking stance with a flag, that'd be cool. You know, if it had the actual fucking flag emblems, you know, it looked like a capture the flag flag instead of a fucking Halo Infinite flag. But otherwise, this is just a dude pointing a stick at you. All in all, Halo Infinite has some great stuff in it, but there's a lot of stupid shit in this game that... First of all, the fact that it was even suggested, and then the fact that it made it from a suggestion to being accepted by the majority of the people that decide to make shit, and then being sent all the way to the development team, I, I really, I feel like there had to be people in the development team that looked at this and they were like, who wants to design cat ears for the, the, the fucking Spartan helmet? I'm sure there was probably arguments like, I'm not doing it. Well, you have to do it. I'm not doing it. Make him do it. Pfft, I don't even like cats. I'm not doing it. I'm a dog person. I, just, I don't... I, I try to believe that there are some people that work on this game that are actual, legitimate Halo fans that played the original Halo games in their fucking prime and just look at this stuff and think the same thing. And I, I, you know, and I hope for them they're not the ones that have to work on the stupid shit like fucking holographic rabbit ears. Just hopefully they're just sitting there like, glad, I'm glad I'm not doing that shit. Let me, let me work on this, this, this weapon coding or whatever. Something that at least isn't as stupid as that. But, all in all, Halo Infinite, I mean, there's a reason that you're the joke of this franchise.